Today we are diving into the world of Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom and exploring the magic of Halo Effect. Just imagine being able to make your subject stand out like a diamond in a pile of coal. I am going to show you how to create depth, separation and make your subject pop in just few easy steps. But don't worry, you don't need to be a professional photo editor to do this. All you need is the latest version of Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw and a little bit of creativity. Get ready to take your photography to the next level. So let's jump in. Welcome back to PS Desire Photoshop and Photography Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two samples. And by the way, if you want to follow along with me, go ahead and download image files and all the links are in the description. Here is the sample street photography which I'm going to use for this tutorial. Street photography is known for being very busy and crowded. Without proper techniques and editing skills, the subject may blend in with the surrounding environment and not stand out as intended. This technique is perfect for images like this where the separation between the subject and background can be improved. Please note this technique can be done in Lightroom and Adobe Camera as well. So if you are a Lightroom user then use the Lightroom or if you are Photoshop frequently using the Photoshop then use the Camera Raw. You got the point right. So first make a duplicate copy control or command plus j convert it to a smart object which allows you to make non-destructive edits to the original image while preserving the original quality now open it in camera raw so let's start off by opening up the mask filters now there are two ways to do this so i will show you the both ways with two different images first way is by choosing the select subject and camera camera raw has done a pretty good job here with the selection considering it's quite dark at the bottom area kindly note in some cases you will just need to tidy up some few edges which will make things even more effective if you want to remove unnecessary pot choose the subtract tab and the brush tool then start brushing on areas which are not part of the subject similarly if any area missed out then choose add and take brush tool simply paint on areas that needed to to be added and please note this doesn't need to be pixel perfect just enough for a clean selection everything looks fine to me now here comes the fun part now we are going to invert the mask so everything else is now selected apart from the subject we don't require these two brushes brush one and brush two i just make them to demonstrate for beginners uh, who doesn't know how to clean the selections so i just made those so let's delete them then the key part of the process we have to intersect the mask with radial gradient filter then simply draw a radial circle behind the subject to create a halo effect let's increase the exposure you would think the effect would be produced using the exposure slider actually has quite a distracting and also oversaturated instead of using exposure better way is use the dehaze slider which creates more realistic depth and haze in the background especially for the street and the nature photography and also i'm going to change some basic adjustments like whites blacks and some contrast gives really nice separation between the subject and the background so here is the quick before and after to show you how well this effect works now a few more final edits to this image Add one more select subject mask and boost those whites. For more contrast, a little bump on the overall shadow slider. And if you want, go ahead and change the colors if you want. In this case, I'm quite happy with these overcast colors. And finally, reduce the black slider to boost the blacks and click OK to apply the changes. And all edits are non-destructive so we can change any adjustments anytime easily. If you want, 
simply double click on this smart layer and I want to change the size and position of the radial filter. So let's select radial gradient and move it. This looks good here. Click OK. So here is before and after. So here is the another image for the second sample. The another way we can use this technique which is completely reverse which we used in the first example. So here again duplicate layer and convert it to smart filter and then open it in camera raw. So let's use this halo effect in different way. First I'm going to boost the blacks for more punch in those shadows and and then let's once again pop up to the mask filters but this time use the radial gradient then draw a circle and just put the center point in the middle now let's intersect with the subject then simply invert the mask so the selection is covering the background of the image now reduce down the exposure by two, two stops and boom we have ridiculous separation now in the image now if you notice the image lighting coming from left side of her look at her hair it was more glowing so i want to cast shadow on the right side side to give some depth so finally i want to shape the light so select radial gradient and change its shape and place it somewhere right side corner it looks good here now it added some drama to the image it looks like she was sitting somewhere in the corner so by doing some simple adjustments we can create a separation between the subject and the background previously the image looks little flat there is no um, depth and uh, separation between the subject and background with just few adjustments we created a depth and drama to the image i am quite satisfied with the result hit ok to apply the edit here is the before and after photoshop and camera raw and lightroom has just made it infinitely user friendly with their subject to selection algorithm really really very impressive stuff from Adobe. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching. Hope this little episode on subject separation and depth was really helpful and hopefully it should bring some of your images to life. If you like this video, please like, share and comment and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you don't miss any future tips, tricks and tutorials. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay tuned. Take care.